money, gang, 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 gang. My name is JJ Stokes. I'm the new color commentator here. I'm here to bring a little flavor to this boring ass commentary of YWF. I just got hired, just signed a big contract. So, you know, how about we just go ahead and we just go ahead and call this action right here we got going on while they have his fleshing. Let's go ahead, let's get it. to the corner. Chris Alton turns him around. And Mark McGregor goes ahead and throws him back in the corner. Puts him on top. I don't know what this is going to do. Oh, oh Hurricane Rana. Wow. That was nice. Okay. And look at that. That's what I'm talking about. The friendship between Chris Austin and Carl Jam. For Carl Jam to sit down that apron in a match that doesn't have nothing to do with him and motivate his friend, that's love right there, man. That's a great friendship. Right there, man. Shaq motivated Kobe. You know, I mean, I mean, look at it. It's motivation. Oh, can he? Chris Austin too. Chris is Austin too big for that man. You can't put a guy that size in there. What is he doing? What is he doing? What? He wasn't involved in the match. He wasn't even in the match. 
Look, his opponent is Chris Austin, not Carl Jansen. He wasn't even involved in the match, Marco. How can you even support that? Really? Well, let me tell you something. Wait, let me tell you something. If he beats, he can beat Carl Jams all day till the cows come fucking home. That doesn't mean he's gonna fucking win this fucking match, old dumbass. So, I mean, he has to go ahead and stay in the fucking ring. That's a dumbass move, man. Oh, nice suplex by Chris. The awesome guy. Awesome. Italian food today. Who cares that he wrestles all around the world? It matters what his success is in the YWF right now. Look at Carl Jams motivating his friend, man. He's motivating his friend, man. What you think he's doing? Look at him. Look at him. He's coaching him up, man. He's coaching him up. He's telling him. He's telling him, hey, Chris, go in there. Go ahead. Let's get this, man. Let's get this money. You feel me? <laughs> Here we go. Oh! Belly to belly. Suplex right there, man. Shades of a... That looks like... That looks like Taz back in ECW right there. Oh! Looks like he was going... Yeah, man. Looks like he was going for the F5. And he went ahead and reversed it, man. That was a nice reverse by Mike McGregor. I'm not taking nothing from his kid talent. But all I'm saying is he got to... Stay on the offense, man. Just like that right there. He has to stay on the offense. You can't win the... You know, you know, you know, before I, before, before I was interrupted by you, Marco, like I was going to say, you can't win defense with nothing but basketball and football. That's the only thing you win defense with. And wrestling is definitely not a defensive sport. It's an offensive sport. Before I was really interrupted because you are paying attention to Carl Jams motivating his friend. That's his friend. I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, he cares about his friends, man. These guys are close like brothers, man. They're like brothers to each other, man. And I, I understand that. Oh. Man, Mark McGregor, Mike McGregor looks very, very out of him, man. But he keeps his heart in there, man. He gives a lot of respect to me for his heart. I just don't like the cockiness right there. I like that takedown right there by Chris, the awesome guy. I like Chris Austin. Man. He's, a, he's a very, very superstar, and, and you can see this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, double clothesline, Marco. Did you see that? That's big time playmaker right there, man. That's why Chris Austin one day is gonna be YWF heavyweight champion, man. Just like that. Wow. Oh. 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 Man, he's motivating him, man. He's motivating him. Look at this. He's motivating Chris Awesome. And, um, look at that. Oh! He slipped and fell on the ropes. Oh, my God. Oh, F5. He slipped and fell on the ropes. He slipped and fell on the ropes, man. You didn't see it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. McGregor goes to the outside. Look at this. Look at this. Carl Jams is helping Mark McGregor right now. He's letting him get back in the match. Look at this. This is what you get. This is what you pay for. Oh, kick to the head. There goes the double clothesline again. So nice. Look at this. Oh, that second clothesline always gets him. Here we go. One, two, three. That's over with right there. Chris, awesome. That's why his last name is awesome. Because he's an awesome, awesome superstar right there, man. Chris, win the match. Come to help with Carl Jams. It was fucking motivation. Get over it. These guys are friends, okay? Break it up. We can slow it down. 
You ain't ever seen nothing so rugged at 90. I'm hot with the cops behind me. Your boy is grimy. Keep the cuffs. Enjoy your donuts, sir. You ain't gonna find me. It's not likely to break. Chasing a ghost with no brakes. Slow down. Run a blue rock team ready to. Stop playing. I'm hot, man. Give me that bitch now. Time's up. The animals crept through. Leave them in the dust with a packet of jet fuel. Too quick. Eat them up. Better for pet food. No brakes. All lame. Missing your head screws. Hot skin and bones left. This year, the Dallas Hab Mavericks are definitely not going to make it to the finals, and the Heat are going to get their first ring. You'll watch and see that. I doubt it. Something a little more. Yeah. I doubt it. So that should tell you how this match is going to go, right? Yeah. Look at Chase Oliver. Look at Chase Oliver. He has to go ahead. Chase Oliver has to be on the offense, man. That's what I'm talking about. You got to stay on the offense, Chase. If you don't stay on the offense, you're going to lose. You know, even in MMA, you got to stay on the offense. So I don't understand why, you know, he would want to retire from the YWF, especially now at the height of his success. Look at this. Look at this. So technical. You got to enjoy that AM Punk with a bitch ass. Bitch ass reversal. With a bitch ass reversal, Marco. Don't lie. That was a bitch ass move. Look at that. Fisherman suplex. Yeah, yeah, you hate his attitude in recent weeks. I hate his attitude forever. You know, nice take that. Oh, oh, he's a bitch. He's a bitch. Oh, trust me, trust me, Marco. You don't have to call him a bitch. I'm gonna call him a bitch long enough, good enough for me and you. You know. <laughs> so, you know, AM Punk grabs Chase Oliver by the fucking waist. You know. Here we go right here. Oh, oh! I mean, that's a bitch move. You don't want to know why his name is AM Punk? What? Why? Because AM is in the morning, right? Right. So everybody sleep in the morning, right? That's because that's because he's fucking born. That's why. AM Punk. It's born punk. Born punk. He does them right. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I mean, his talent is okay at most. I mean, I mean, his mic skills, are, eh, you know, he can work on that. And, you know, look at this the attire. Look at that attire. That's just baggedish attire. Man. You know, who who makes this guy's clothes? Elton John? Really? Get the fuck out of here. Hey, hey, we have great designers in the back. You got great designers in the back? Let me tell you something. See this shit I got on? I'm glad nobody put this shit on me. I picked this shit out my damn self. You feel me? I wouldn't even. I mean, who y'all got designed in the back? Stevie fucking Wonder? Come on, Marco. Anyway, I'm glad I'm here on this commentary, man, because we need both sides of the story. You know, you give one side of the story, Marco. You do it good. I'm not saying you don't go do a good job. I'm just saying, man. You gotta, you gotta give both sides of the story, man. That's what I'm saying. See, you say AM Punk is great talent. You see that suplex right there? He's a great talent, but he's a bitch too. See, everybody needs to know this guy's a bitch, and he he he's a fucking faggot to me. You know. I see it now, right back to the action. Now, AM Punk going for a domino stretch. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
He's a punk ass bitch. He reminds me of Kobe Bryant. You know, you walk around, you you're a bitch. Is that simple? You're a bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. He is Come on, Chase. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Chase going to work with that leg. Right then he falls to another move of the bitch ass nigga. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh man, this is. Hey, hey, hot dog guy. Hey, let me get a hot dog with a with a ketchup. Oh, he's trying to get out the, get out the cage. Give me a hot dog with a ketchup, man. How much that be? Six twenty five. That be six twenty five. Hey, hey, Marco, you want something to eat, man? You want something to fucking eat, man? Oh man, yo, 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 give me give me a soda. Give me a soda. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Had to give me something to eat, man. Got to give me something to keep up for this boring guy, AM Punk, man. AM Punk is so much better. If you have a bitch at AM Punk match, trust me, it's going to be the best sleep you ever got in your life. You know what? I, I, not, not just because AM Punk's a bitch, I want him to lose. I want Chase Oliver to win in his last match. You know how great that'll be for him to go out on top to start his MMA career with a YWF finishing off win of this bitch ass nigga AM Punk. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, this guy haven't heard Chase freaking Oliver. He's returning to the world of MMA. Yeah, man. Oh! Oh my god! This hot dog was good! This is a good hot dog. Oh, Chase! There you go. Let me get a little bit. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Hey, you should have got a hot dog. A hot dog really was a hot dog. Oh! Sweet pass. This hot dog is great. Oh! What a bitch ass kick. I call that the bitch kick. That's a bitch kick. Look at that. Really, really, this is like the 500th time he did this shit. See, this shit is so fucking boring. A thousand and two holes my fucking ass. He did this shit like five fucking times. Are you fucking serious? Really, he's a bitch ass nigga for this man. He's a bitch ass nigga. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Trying to run like a little bitch he is. He's running like a little bitch he is. Oh, Chase Oliver got the bitch. Damn. That's what I'm talking about, Chase. Come on, Chase. You can do it, Chase. Look at Chase. Oh, damn. You got pulled down by the pussy ass nigga. Oh, my God. Suplex. Come on, Chase. Come on. Come on, Chase. Come on, Chase. You got it. Oh, he's going to get pulled down. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's hard. That's hard. Oh. Oh, my God. This is going to be nasty. Oh, goodness. He got it. He got it. Is this match over with? But him Punk lost. That's the greatest part about this match, man. I love the YWF just to watch Aiden Punk lose. And you see the replay right there, the bitch ass motherfucking whatever that bitch move is. But uh, yeah, man, you see Chase Oliver get this move right here. And look at that fisherman suplex. We're gonna miss this while he's gone to MMA, man. We're gonna miss that right there. This is talent. Right here is another bitch ass Boston Crab from the self proclaimed a thousand and two holder man. But the guy, Chase Oliver, still came through to win his last match in YWF history. And that's just great. You gotta applaud this man, Marco. You gotta applaud this man. This man had a great career, man. And he's ending it on top, you know. And he'd be able to tell his grandkids that he won his last match. The first, the first YWX explosion that the great, great JJ Stokes called. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. What are you doing? Oh, he's trying to help this bitch ass nigga up. He's trying to help this bitch. Look at. You know what? I'm not even surprised. He's a bitch ass nigga. Look at this. Bitch ass. Bitch assness. Bitch assness. Bitch assness. No swag. Bitch assness. Pussy ass nigga. I hope he gets paid.
Capital dude. Yeah. That's my boy right there, man. Me and Capital went last night chilling. Chilling it last night. With me, him, Raven Lopez. You know, we got to be you don't, you don't believe it. You don't really. Hey, 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 about that. I'd rather it be my best friend than a duo. You know, at least, you know, your best friend came and he didn't let a dude on the street fuck the girl. And he's the best friend of the girl. I mean, hell, there ain't no fun unless the homies get something, right? <laughs> Capital dude with a great leg takedown right there. You know, back to my question, Marco. As, as Capital dude is and, and, and to go at it right here. You know, you call this man sexual agenda. Wow, this is a grown ass man. And he wants, you know, other grown ass men to call him sexual agenda. Well, you know what I say about this fucking redhead faggot? I'm not gonna call him sexual agenda because that shit is fucking gay, okay? There's no way I can stand in the middle of a street in New Orleans my hometown, New Orleans, Louisiana, 504, I know you watching right now. I can't stay in the middle of the street of the ninth order of New Orleans and be like, hey, hey, sexual ginger, sexual, hey, sexual. I, I can't do it. That's a grown ass man. That's gay. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, okay, so you got to wear the fedora with a, with a feather. You know. okay. Hey, swag. It's swag. You see this chain right here, man? You better go check my paycheck, Marco. Come on, dog. Be real. Call the man. And here goes Capital Dude with a great grapple right here. You know, Sexual Ginger, he has a relationship with one of my best friends in the back, Raven Lopez. Raven Lopez is like my, is like almost like my little sister best friend, you know? Raven Lopez is such a sweet, and plus she's fine as hell. Have you seen the ass on that bitch? Damn. Thick as fuck. Yeah, yeah, I have seen that ass. Yeah, that ass is thick, right? <laughs> man, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can't, we can't, we can't. Oh, but back, to the, back to the action. Yeah, back, back to the action. Yeah. Anyways. Um, now, we Capital have Capital dude. on attack with a reverse neck break on sexual gender. Yeah. Capital dude with a reverse neck break on sexual gender. Man, how about the triple threat match? about the triple threat match? Coming up between these two guys. Oh, oh and another guy in the back. I respect debtors, man. Debtors and sexual ginger have been well ginger have been having problems about you know their their partnership and debtors you know definitely moved up in the ranks and ginger is just jealous of debtors now man. It's, 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 it's sad. It's sad. Look. Look. Look, look, sexual ginger had the belt, man. He had the championship belt. And you know, when you're the champion, man, people are gonna turn their backs on you so quick, man. It's that simple, though. You better ask Tom Brady how it was after he won the two championships. First he was the golden wonder kid, and now everybody calls him a bitch and all this shit like that. But you know what? Tom Brady doesn't cry about little bitches turning their back on him. Tom Brady goes out there and wins the game. That's what sexual ginger has to understand, that he has to go out here and he has to win these matches. Even though he has a faggot ass name, and even though he is the internet champion, which I do not agree with, he, he has to go out here and win his matches and prove people like me that, you know, he is one of the best YWF superstars in here today. And I just don't see it, man. Capital Dude right here is in control of the match, man. My boy, Cap. And until that move right there, Cap was running the whole damn thing because Cap is a boss. Oh! Five other bitches, if you ask me. Oh, five other bitches, if you ask me. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah, even the broke 
clock, even a broke clock is right two times a day. Remember that. Oh my goodness. Ginger. Back to the match. Back to you know, you know the only thing, you know the only thing this guy Ginger has I like is is is, is, is Raven. That's it, man. And and I and I really hope she smartens up, man, and finds out a better guy, man. I tell her all the time, she's too beautiful for this guy, man. He's a clown. He's a bitch ass nigga. She needs to roll with somebody like me. Somebody with a little swagger. Somebody with a, you know, a little money in the bank, you feel me? I don't I don't have to go out here and sweat and hurt myself just to prove that I'm a baller. I'm just a superstar like that, you feel me? They're meant for each other. That's what faggots like you say. They're meant for each other. But let me tell you something, man. It's, it's, it's nothing money can't buy. It's nothing money can't buy. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to back on the attack. Yes. Oh. oh. And look up. Look up there. Look up there. Who's that? That's Dad. That's Dadders, man. Dadders come out here to study to study his, his superstars, man. Dadders might come down here and tell me, hey, man. He might tell me, hey, though. So don't, so don't crap up my style, you know, if Dadders come no down here, you know? Be out here doing this mess right now. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I mean, hey, sue him, bro. Sue him, bro. Anyways, he puts the knee to his head right there. Capital Duty is running this match right now. Capital Duty is the guy. Cap. Now he just got elbowed in the face. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Is in trouble. Yeah. I mean, and, and your debtors right now. You know what's going through the mind of debtors, man? He's, he's, he's trying to sit here. He's trying to study these two guys, man. I don't think he's trying to get involved in the match. Because if he did want to get involved in the match, he would have been ran down here by now. But he hasn't. So I think he's just studying his two opponents. You know, for his triple threat match for that internet for that internet championship, what shall be won? You know. You may be right, but them sexual gender spots on him. Oh. I know he can't wait to get his hands on dance. Oh my God! For what? So he get oh, so he get his ass kicked again. I think he just seen him. I think he just seen him. And oh my God! And he's sending a message to him again. A tiger bump. You know, Jen just sent a message to Dada. She's just seen him up there on that ramp. And he sent him a message. And he's like, look, I'm not going to lay down like a little bitch. Which is something that you got to respect Ginger for, man. He's hitting the capital dude with two tiger bumps. Look at the capital. Capital is so smart. Capital is so fucking smart. Albert Einstein of the YWF. There he goes. Capital slam. Right there, man. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Ginger. Here we go. Cap with a takedown. You know, Ginger, you know, Ginger should have brought Raven Lopez to the ring, man. I think he should have brought Raven. Oh! Capital taking advantage of Ginger's falling down under that last rope right there. You, got, you can't blame Capital taking advantage of a situation. Russian legs in the back Bulldog. These guys right here have been fighting their, fighting their hearts out, man. This has been a great match. Oh, my goodness. This has been a great match. It really has. It's been a great match. Great match of Vince White. I mean, explosion. That's what I'm talking about, man. This is way better than that boring-ass cage match with that bitch-ass AM Punk who lost the night. Oh, my God. I'm finna throw a party at my house. Everybody invited. Even you, Marco. If you bring a couple of bitches or two, you feel me? Even you, Marco. You can pop bottles with a king for them once, all right? You know what I'm saying? Cause I know you yeah. don't. I know you don't get invited to parties and stuff like that. You know. <laughs> I've been to a lot of parties, thank you. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Harry, Harry Potter. Harry Potter discussions don't count. Anyways, back to the match. Capital Dude is is definitely doing his thing right now, man. He's definitely running this match. Ginger reverses with a couple of elbows to the face and a running bulldog right like there, man. So. Yeah, this is down right now. Uh oh. Is it time? Is it time? Yes, it is time for the most electrifying move in YWF history. The Capital Elbow. You gotta say it like that, man. The Capital Elbow. You feel me? 
One, two. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, God, how did he kick out of that? I don't even know, man. This guy has so much heart. Capital drop again. You know, he's bringing him to the middle of the ring. And, oh, here we go. He picks him back up. And, oh, oh that God. might cost capital right there, man. I don't understand why he did not pin him right there, man. That's the only thing I don't agree with capital. You know, he tries to show us off sometimes, man. He has to calm down and win matches. That's what he has to do, man. Especially against the internet champion. This opportunity right here to pin him right there. That was a great opportunity right there. The capital just gave it up. But I think he might just fix this problem back right here. And yes, it's time again for the most electrifying move in YW of history. Say it with me, Marco. It's the capital elbow. You don't like that guy, do you? I love this kid. I love this kid. One. So, oh, what the fuck? He kicked out of that shit. What the fuck? Oh, oh goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, man, you hear that is yelling toward the ring right now at Ginger. He's yelling at the ring toward Ginger right now. Oh, there goes Ginger. Pulls up there, Dennis. They're going head to head. Dennis, Dennis, to the far. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't. Oh no, he's not. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, ain't that some bullshit? 